Officer Wilson's weapon. Additionally, a bullet fired from Officer Wilson's weapon was located inside the driver's door. The shot was fired from inside the vehicle, striking the door in a downward angle at the armrest. The second bullet was not recovered. Regarding the gunshot wound, wound to Mr. Brown, it should be noted that the three separate autopsies were conducted, one by St. Louis County Medical Examiner's Office, one by a private pathologist, and one by the Department of Defense Armed Forces Medical Examiner. The results of all three autopsies are consistent with one another in all significant respects. Mr. Brown had a gunshot graze wound of the right, hand, of the right thumb. The path of that bullet is away from the tip of the hand, soot consistent with a close, up, uh, close, close range gunshot is present inside that wound. Officer Wilson also had a medical examination which indicated some swelling and redness to his face. Almost all witnesses stated that after they heard the shot fired while Mr. Brown was at the car, he hesitated and then ran east on Canfield. Most stated that almost immediately, Officer Wilson got out of his vehicle and chased after him. Some witnesses stated Wilson fired at Mr. Brown as he chased after him, striking him. At least one witness saying he struck or one of those shots struck Mr. Mr. Brown. Others stated that he did not fire until Mr. Brown turned and came back toward, the, toward Officer Wilson. At least one witness stated that as Officer Wilson got out of his vehicle, he shot Mr. Brown multiple times as Mr. Brown stood next to the vehicle. Yet another witness stated that Officer Wilson stuck his gun out the window and fired at Mr. Brown as Mr. Brown was running. One witness stated there were actually two police vehicles and four officers present, but only one officer fired a weapon. Most witnesses agreed that near the corner of Canfield and Copper, Copper Creek, Mr. Brown stopped and turned around facing Officer Wilson. Some said Mr. Brown did not move toward Officer Wilson at all, but was shot multiple times as he stood near the corner with his hands raised. In subsequent interviews with law enforcement or their testimony before the grand jury, many of the same witnesses acknowledged that they didn't actually see the shooting. Some were running for cover, some were relating what they heard from others, or as I said, what they assumed happened in, the city, in that case. Several other witnesses maintained their original statement that Mr. Brown had his hands in the air and was not moving toward the officer when he was shot. Others said that he was shot, <clears throat> excuse me. Several witnesses stated that Mr. Brown did not raise his hands at all or that he raised them briefly and then dropped them and turned toward Officer Wilson who then fired several rounds. Other witnesses stated that Mr. Brown stopped for a very brief period, then moved toward Officer Wilson again. One described his movement toward Officer Wilson as a full charge. According to some witnesses, Officer Wilson stopped firing when Mr. Brown stopped moving toward him and resumed firing when Mr. Brown started moving toward him again. These witnesses did not make any statements to the media. The description of how Mr. Brown's hands raised his hands or the position of his hands is not consistent among the witnesses. Some described his hands as being out to his side, saying, some said in front of him with his palms up. Others said his hands were raised near his head or were by his shoulders. Still others said they were in front of his chest or down by his stomach. Others described his hands as being in a running position or in fists. There are also various, <clears throat> there are also various witness statements regarding Mr. Brown's movement after he stopped and turned back toward Officer Wilson. Several witnesses said Mr. Brown never moved toward Officer Wilson and was shot where he stood at the corner. Most, of the, most said that the shots were fired as he moved toward Wilson. Mr. Brown's movements were described as, they said, on one, walking, moving fast, stumbling, or full charge. Like this is basically the sum up of the case that has been uh, offered to the DA's office and they're just going over it. Testimony. Uh, very disappointing. Clearly, people are angry, as you can see. So, twelve rounds were fired by Officer Wilson. We will see what happens. Car, Ten more shots farther east on Canfield. 